Banning marijuana. Do you think we should ban? And if so, why should we keep it? Why should we keep the stores open? <clears throat> I think they should close them. For the people with no job, it make you lazy. And your mind, it doesn't focus at all. All you want to do is eat, smoke, eat, smoke the whole day. Then after you've done all that, all you want to do is go to sleep. By this time, the day is going by and you could be out there in the street looking for a job. Then, when you smoke it outside and it stays on your clothes, I don't understand why. You know, even with cigarette smoking, when people smoke cigarettes, you could tell that they had just been smoking a cigarette because you could smell that smell. I don't know. It just stinks. And then if you smoke weed outside, I think you should stay outside for like three or four hours before coming back in the house. Otherwise, the smell is just on your clothes and in your house. And I don't want to have my house smelling like that. If you're not smoking and you're around people that are smoking, it tends to linger on to your clothes. And that's just like if, just say if I was at a party and everybody else is there smoking and I go in the bathroom and come back out, then go outside in the front and somebody said, hey, Kristen, were you just smoking? I'm like, no, but everybody in the house is smoking. And it's not like they don't really believe you because the clothes, the scent is on your clothes and it could be in your hair. Why is it every time that someone looks at me, they automatically think I'm a Rasta? What is a Rasta? I have no idea. All I know is I got dreadlocks because I decided to go years without getting my hair done. And uh, actually, I first started six years ago. My daughter first started going to college. Then she did her six years of college. And I decided, hey, YouTube has so many different styles of long hairstyle with dreadlocks and twists. I figured, hey, I can let my hair grow out at least, you know, like the breast level. And allow my hair to get in those different styles. And then when I turn 50 years old, I will probably cut my hair off real, 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 real short. But back to the banning process of the marijuana. Why do you think we should keep it, really? Because if we do need to keep it, I think maybe you need to purchase it at a, at a, uh, like Kaiser. If you really have a problem, like they say something's wrong with your leg or something's wrong with your arm or you can't see straight, I think it should be purchased at your doctor, not at an outside store that's selling little brownie marijuana and uh, suckers and and uh, soap with marijuana in it. I think it should be actually purchased at your doctor's. <coughs> and I think if they sell it, uh, like I said, I really hope they ban it in California or Los Angeles. But did you know that they decided to suspend the banning until March 2013? They have received 28,000 signatures and sent out a thousand to keep them open. So who knows, they probably will keep them open. So that's why when you vote, please pay attention to what it says if you're a registered voter. If you're 18 and up, please make sure you read it really good before you sign or uh, punch the little holes of whether you want to do it or not. The uh, proposition, I can't remember what number it is. And did you know that there are a lot of jobs that require you to take an alcohol and drug test? A lot of people have no idea and probably need, never even had a job. But if you decide at the age of 30 years old you want to get a job, you might want to stop smoking the weed. Because if you want a good job, a lot of jobs won't allow you to have that. And they'll, they can, um, by law, drug test you. And it doesn't only just require peeing in a cup, but they can also take strands of your hair. And some people say, oh, I don't want them to take my hair. But believe me, if you comb your hair every day, and I guarantee you get hair in your comb or your brush, 
those little fiber uh, strands, they could take out and <coughs> they can find out. So if you decide you want to do that, please make sure that you uh, stop smoking. It takes 45 <coughs> Excuse me. It takes 45 days for it to get out of your system. So once again, I know you're probably wondering why I have this mask, this uh, eyeshadow on. Well, I received it in a little basket because I sell Avon and want to see what it looks like. And to me, I see blue is not my color, so I won't be wearing it anymore. So this is all about banning marijuana.